Halloween isn't until Monday, but many people aren't waiting for a good fright. KXLI 4's Ian Call joins us live now with a look at the Riverfront Park Haunted House. Welcome to that Riverfront Park Haunted House. Takes about 10 minutes to go through. It's right next to the Ice Palace, and the people who put it on say that even the biggest horror film lover will be scared. It's just fun to get that adrenaline rush real fast. Just get going, and like, it's crazy. If you run, they will catch you. Adrian Ziegler and her family were first in line for the Riverfront Haunted House tonight, looking for a thrill. I like being scared. It's funny. And they got what they came for dodging creepy clowns and scary men with chainsaws. They're just too realistic. <laughs> That's just, I couldn't look anybody in the eye. The whole house is haunted by people who know how to put on a good show. The Ignite Community Theater spends close to two months preparing the building. Riverfront Park decided to get rid of the hay bale maze and ghostly golf this year, so the crew spent evenings and weekends making sure the spooky scene is extra special. Somewhere in there, two or three spots anyway, there's a spot that really makes you jump. Aaron Waltman says some people get a little too scared. We have had some people let us know that they were unable to hold it the entire way through. The Zieglers were not among those people, but in the end they had plenty of screams and smiles. The girl with the white shirt and the white face and the crazy black hair, oh my gosh. <laughs> and enough frightening images burned into their brains to last them well through Halloween. Way better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Way better. And the money from that haunted house will go to fund the Ignite Community Theater's upcoming season. The haunted house runs through Monday. Reporting live from the Skydeck, Ian Cole, KXY4 HD News.